Hey guys, it's Renee. So this video is a part two. In the other one, I made the word Mary and this is going to be for the word Christmas. As I mentioned in my previous video, the one with the word Mary on it, I used a couple of items from another video that I'm going to be linking below. And some of these designs are pretty similar to the ones that I used in the Mary word. Okay, to start with the Christmas, we're going to be working in the C. This is pretty simple, pretty much the same in the background as we did before with the white one but then we're going to be working on those holly berries and they are super easy to make first we're going to draw kind of the uh, green leaves on there pretty much in my mind it works like two m's like facing opposite directions i used goggle for a lot of those things but once i have done that i added three kind of sets and then right before they dry, I'm just going to take my scribe tool and I'm just going to kind of make that um, gap in the middle so they look like kind of a 3D. And once you have done that and you're happy with how it looks, we're going to be adding just three dots in the middle of those two leaves. And that is pretty much the whole um, cookie completed. And then the H is going to be pretty much as the M that the, we already did, just um, different combinations this time. Then for my next R, I'm just going to first add my uh, my white as I did previously on my cookies. But before that dries, I'm just going to add some lines. These ones are going to be actual lines going from left to right, from uh, top to bottom. And kind of creating this pattern, uh, squares and just lines, I based myself from a perfume. Doesn't look anything like that at all, I know, but kind of that's where I was going with this one. And then we're going to be moving uh, to the eye. I'm going to start with the bottom part of it, with kind of the Santa's belt. On the top of the bottom of my cookie, I'm just going to add some red realizing, first working on the outline and then the filling and then helping myself with my scribe tool to just kind of remove any bubbles and stuff like that. And then you see we have a kind of an empty space in the middle. Well, once my red by, uh, realizing is, is starting to crust, I'm just going in and add kind of a, a line in there in the middle. And yeah, I'm just going to let that dry for a second. And then once that was dry, I added kind of the belt part of Santa and I didn't have any yellow realizing at the moment so I just um, took my black one because at the end I'm just going to be painting that to make it a gold buckle but um, other than that, that's it for this part for the kind of dot, I'm just going to make a tree and you need a somewhat thicker or just um, yeah, thicker consistency realizing in green and you're going to add kind of dots in there and then just drag them towards the top part of your tiny cookie if that makes any sense I hope as I'm showing you it makes more sense and I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then once it's dry I'm just going to be working on the on the following one I'm going to be doing the exactly the same thing but just trying to place dots in the middle of the previous one if that makes any sense I'm going from bottom to top as you can see and once I'm done, I'm just going to add this kind of a, it's supposed to be a daisy <laughs> a sprinkle, but to me it looks kind of um, a star. So I added that one on the top. If you have a, a proper star or if you want to, you know, do something else, just go ahead and do it. And that's it for the eye. So my next S is going to be pretty much like the E that we already did, but this time um, my background is going to be white and my dots are going to be green. And then my T is going to follow the same kind of uh, design as my I and I'm just going to be adding a Christmas hat on the top of that before my um, icing dries. And then for my next M, I'm just going to work on my outline and then filling the whole thing as we did before. But before it dries, I'm just going to add some sprinkles in white and green because I wanted some contrast in there and then before that dries I'm just going to add some candy cane and that's pretty much all there is to it the rest are the designs that we have already done so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff and have a Merry Christmas from me to you thank you for watching and I'll touch you later bye guys